Hey everyone, it's Nicole from Nicole Loves Nails. Welcome to my channel. So keep me in your side, cause I can do this all night. So today's video is for the newest release from Fandom Flakies. For the March Fandom Flakies box, we have a theme of Squishmallows, and the guest maker is Fair Maiden Polish. These little guys are so stinking cute, first of all. <laughs> If you are new to Phantom Flakies, Phantom Flakies is a monthly indie collaboration between Bees Knees Lacquer, Night Owl Lacquer, and Ribbit Stickets. Each month they get together to follow one theme along with a guest maker and release limited edition nail polishes as well as a few other items that all follow the same theme. The items are available for a one week long pre-order and as always I'll have all the information down in the description box. Before we get into today's video I have a couple of things to mention. So if you are new around here, hi I am Nicole. It is wonderful to meet you and thank you very much for clicking on today's video. Do consider hitting subscribe if you enjoy nail polish related content, I upload new videos every single week featuring a mixture of indie, mainstream, as well as boutique nail polish brands. I also go live every Sunday. If you are in fact a returning subscriber, welcome back. How are you doing? So the Fandom Flakies box opens up on the 10th of March at 12 p.m. Eastern time on the Fandom Flakies website, which of course I will have linked down below. Also down in the description box, I will have uh, links to the Fandom Flakies social media pages, my social media pages, as well as a link to my blog post on nicolovesnails.com where I host all of my swatch photos, as well as for provide a written review. Stormy, don't do it. Oh my god. Stormy. Stormy, get off of the keyboard. Stormy, get off of the keyboard. I'll be right back. I don't know why you have to be like this. Like, I invited you in here to be in the video. And you just wanted to roll on the floor. Say, so Stormy's here too. All right, and timestamps are in the description box as well. And one final thing, this video is sponsored by Phantom Flakies and all the products featured in today's video were sent to me by these brands for the purpose of swatching and reviewing. As always, all thoughts and opinions are my own. Let's get into this video. First up, we have Bees Knees Lacquer with Gengar Style. This one is described as being a pale purple base with hollow flakies, gold iridescent flakes, and a scattering of matte black flakes. Gengar Style had a fantastic formula. This one does start off fairly sheer. I do think this one would work well as a topper if you don't mind a slight purpley bluish kind of tint to your base color. The flakies in here also are very evenly and easy with no texture in sight. I don't know how, but black flakies literally make everything look a thousand times better like this one is incredibly holographic i love the iridescent flakies but like the addition of the black flakies really tipped me over from just liking this one to loving this one this is going to be a two to three coater depending on your own personal preference for full coverage you will need three coats i personally like this one in two coats removal is not going to be overly difficult but it will be on the messy side next up we have fair maiden polish with shake your tail feathers this polish is described as being a blue base with a color shifting shimmer of green to violet packed with iridescent and multi chrome flakes. Shake Your Tail Feathers had a really good formula. I did find it to be slightly on the thicker side. I did actually add a couple of drops of thinner to my bottle just to see if I liked the application better that way. I don't think that was necessary at all and I think I was just being extra picky. I love me a blue, I love me flakies, and this was just chef's kiss gorgeous. The flakies pop best in low light situations, which I'll show you all when we get outside, but this is absolutely gorgeous. This is another one that you could definitely use this one as a topper in one coat if you don't mind a slightly bluish tint to whatever your base is. I also think this one is likely going to be a solid three coater if you really want to get that opacity. The flakies will not dry down texture. They won't be overly difficult to remove, but they will be messy. And the final polish is by Night Owl Lacquer and it is called Sloth Kisses. This one is described as being a clear base with a violet pink gold shifting shimmer, micro flakes in taupe rose gold metallic as well as holographic. This polish had an amazing formula. The base felt slightly on the thicker side, but I found application very easy. It was like thick as in opaque and not thick as in like she thick thick. So I don't know how Lindsay always does it. I don't know how she does these clear bases with like flakies and shimmer and somehow makes them like perfectly opaque. But this one was perfectly opaque on me in two coats. It is incredibly color shifty. The shimmer really comes out best in low light and the holographic comes out best in bright direct lighting. I do think if you have very long nails, you'll likely want to go in for three coats, but I swatched this one in two coats and it was freaking gorgeous. As far as the ribbit stickets items goes, we have several things this month. The first being some water slide decals. So I did record myself this time doing the water slide decals because I keep getting comments. People wanted me to record myself doing it. Why are these so cute when I can't decide? Alrighty, so voiceover time. So if you are new to water slide decals, basically you just need to cut them out. I like to use a teeny tiny pair of manicure scissors and you wanna cut them out to try to get 
as much as of the decal out. You want to cut as close to the lines as humanly possible. And then for your water that you put them in, you want to use warm water. I just have like a little bowl of hot water there that I got from the tap and it kind of cools down as I'm cutting out the decals. So by the time I'm ready to put the decals in, it's still, it's warm and not like hot, hot. Once everything is cut out, I just start putting the decals in the warm water. This is a very quick process. You do not want to leave them in there too long. I would say 20 seconds, maybe 30 seconds tops if your water is cooler. So I like to put the decals in the water and then you can see on my right, I have a whole bunch of clear jelly stampers. This is my preferred method. I find that I mess up the least when I do it this way. The portion here is all in real time. I just wanted to show how quick the process is just to do the decals. And here I am showing just how like transparent the decals are. So you have two options basically. One, you can put these on in a white-ish base to really make the decals pop, or you can do what I'm doing and paint the backs white to get them to pop over whatever you want. Current favorite thing, white, my current favorite product to use is white acrylic paint. You can also use white nail polish. I previously was using white nail polish, but I found the white nail polish took a little bit longer to dry. So I'm going with acrylic paint. This was recommended to me by the owner of Rivet Stickets. And here I am just, you know, coloring in the back. So it's all you have to just color in. Anything that is colored, you want to color it in with white and you can literally put this on whatever base you want. This is where the clear stamper really comes in handy because you can just flip it over and verify that you've got everything colored in and looking as it should. You could also do this on like a nail art mat like I'm working over right now. Alrighty, so in typical Nicole fashion, making my life difficult, I've decided to try a sticky base to get these to stick onto my nails since I've had, you know, the polish on for a while. So I'm using the Orly Bonder base just to put a quick coat on the nail. Is it necessary? No, I've actually done this before without it, but I'm just a little curious on if it would work, so I'm gonna try it. So once everything is dry, all you gotta do, stamp them onto your nails. It's super easy, very straightforward. And again, if you don't wanna go through the trouble of painting the backs, cause I fully recognize it's, a, it's an extra step you don't have to do. I just personally don't like feeling constricted to having to wear like a light color base as if you don't put the decals over a light base, they tend not to show up well. Forgot to mention this earlier, the base that I use for this mani are all from Night Owl Lacquer, which I will have linked in the description box. As always, I found the water slide decals very easy to apply. I do feel like I am starting to get the hang of using them. I do think this time around my big error was I think I put the acrylic paint on too thickly on the back. Yeah, I think I just made them a teeny bit too thick. So the water slide decals are priced at $8. There's also going to be a Squishmallow Cow Vinyl Sticker, which is priced at $4. There is the brand's Hand and Cuticle Cream, which is priced at $7.50. And of course, we also have an acetone additive. The scent description this month for the acetone additive is a sweet, rich blend of coconut, chocolate, graham crackers, and a buttercream and vanilla base. So I actually started using <laughs> <laughs> I've actually started using the acetone additive already. Like it's already in my pump bottle. So like, no, my bad. I'm sorry. I can show you pictures of what it looked like, but it's currently in my pump bottle. I have been really enjoying the Ribbit Stickets Acetone Additive. For me personally, I am finding that I use a little bit less than half of the container in about six to eight ounces of acetone. I can't actually remember if my pump is six ounces or eight ounces. That's why I'm saying six to eight. I find for me personally, if I use half or more in, in that size container, it's a little too sticky for me. Like I don't like the stickiness. So like if you're new to acetone additives, using an acetone additive is a way to make your pure acetone or even like your acetone based removers feel a little bit less harsh on your skin. You won't get like the white cast on your fingers. So for me personally, I do not like them feeling sticky. So I tend to use a little bit less than what most acetone additive um, makers suggest just because I don't like my fingers feeling like sticky. But how much, but how much you use per little jar will really depend on your own personal preferences. The Ribbit Stickets Acetone Additive comes with like a little dropper style in the cap. You can pop that right off, which is what I do because I just put it in my um, pump bottle. If you wanna say use this in like a dappen dish, you can also just kind of do the droplets in, but like I just pry that right off with a metal cuticle pusher. Okay, so final thoughts. In general, I do not pick favorites when it comes to Phantom Flakey's boxes because you have to purchase all the polishes together. However, for this time, um, I loved all three polishes equally. Like, I love the shade of blue that the Fair Maiden polish was. I love the addition of the black flakes to the bee's knees. And I loved like the bright color shifty shimmer and hollow in the Night Owl lacquer. I think this might be my favorite box that I've done in a while for Phantom Flakey's. Like, I love, loved everything about this month's box. It was 
super, super fun. And that's coming from someone who is not even in any way familiar to any of the Squishmallow things. By the way, I don't get the references. I just, I just know, I just loved everything. That, that's all I have to say. As far as sale information goes, this box will be available starting on March 10th at 12 p.m noon Eastern time, and it'll run for a one week long pre-order. The box with just the nail polishes is priced at $33, which does not include shipping. If you would like the Ribbit Sickets water slide decals, as well as the cow vinyl, that will be $43. You can also purchase the Ribbit Sickets items individually outside of purchasing the whole box. And there's also a subscription available if you would like to automatically get subscribed to the Phantom Flakies box, and it is possible to skip months if something does not interest you. And just a heads up, I did get notice from Phantom Flakies that there will not be boxes in April and May, so you will not be charged for those months because, you know, you're not going to get anything, so obviously you won't be charged. I would love to know what everyone else thought of this release. Like, what do you think of Squishmallows? Do you buy Squishmallows? Do you think they're ridiculously cute? If you are familiar with uh, Squishmallows, I would love to know what you think on how the polishes kind of reflect what the inspiration was, because I, I don't know. <laughs> Before we end today's video, I do want to give a very special shout out to my channel members, the Spessies. Thank you all so very much for all your love and support. I just really greatly appreciate it. Your names are all on the screen right now. If if you would like to join my channel memberships, I will have a link for that in the description box. But if not, that's fine too. Just hit subscribe, like the video, comment, share all the things, and we are good. Just thank you all so very much for watching today's video. Have a fantastic week, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.